another episode of Morning Moves and Tales with Jen. So today we're supposed to show what our favorite um, slippers are. You have house slippers, you have cozy slippers, you have fluffy slippers. What are yours? What? You have Raider slippers. Amazing. That is too cool. That I, The Raiders, yes, I like their colors. Well, let me show you mine, the fluffy awesomeness of this. So my dad gave me these slippers for Christmas a few years ago, and I love them. They are so soft and squishy, and they're comfortable, and they keep my feet warm. So I like to use these a lot in the winter time. Um, not so much summer, because they are a little warm. All right, so let's show you what today's book is going to be. We will read Old MacDonald's Bedtime Story. That should be fun. So maybe after we read this, you can go take a nap, let your parents do some laundry or, you know, whatever, some good stuff. We have Karma here joining us today, but I think he's feeling a little bit lazy, so we'll see how that goes. He might move for me, he might not. Oh, your cat's hanging out with you? I like that. Let him chill. All right, today we will do a few yoga moves to get our stretches on. We'll do some simulated jumping jacks because, yeah, I'm really not jumping in this house. All right, so how about you get ready let's scoot this little guy over hi can you yeah okay we're not all right so our first move is going to be those jumping jacks i was talking about so we're going to spread our leg out arms out at the same time and then come back down so we'll go to this side only one side and then i will scoot my dog over and we'll do the other side. Okay, three, two, one, go. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. How many should we do? 15? Okay, let's say that's number seven, I believe. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, excellent. Now we're gonna do the opposite. Okay, so 15, and let's get it going. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Look at you, you are amazing. Excellent work. But that's okay if you got your hands a little out of place, not a problem. Yeah, that's everybody. As long as you try your best, that's all I can ask. That's all you should be able to give. And I appreciate it. All right, so next we are going to do some lunges. Okay, so we will do our right leg first. We're gonna go forward and down. And we'll have to be very careful because if you have slippers like me that don't hook on your foot, you might lose them at some point. Okay. So we'll do 10 on each side, and then we will do that twice. One, two. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
seven, eight, nine. Are you losing the slipper? Me too. 10. Excellent work. Okay, let's put that slipper back on. Seems to want to slide off. We'll get ready for our other side. All right, take a breather. Ready in. Out. Okay, if you have your water, take a little drink of water. That's nice. Okay, ready? And left side, go. One, two, three, four, five. Are you losing a slipper already? Six, me too. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Oh, there it went. <laughs> okay, let's give it a minute. Shake it out. All right, right leg up again, ready? We got 10 more of that one. Set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Almost there, 10. Excellent work. All right, let's get ready for the last round on your left leg. All set, got your places. Okay, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, my foot cracked, nine, ten. We did it! Excellent work! Good job! I'm super proud of you. For this one, you'll um, have a seat on your knees just for a second because then we're gonna go forward, okay? Make sure you don't kick your animals or your cat your turtle or your frogs. All right, now we're gonna go lay down. Got it, keep your feet right behind you. And then we're gonna push up, push our body up, nice and slow, as far as you can. We'll count to 10 on that one, okay? So start down and ready, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down nice and slow. Give it a second. Give your legs a nice big stretch. My leg was trying to cramp. I don't know about yours. All right. Ready? We'll go up. Nice. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Go slowly down. Give your legs a nice big stretch. Don't lose those slippers. Okay. So this one may be a little rough. I think my slippers for sure are gonna come off. All right, put your left leg forward and stretch your right leg. See your leg as far back as it can go. Let's go this way a little so you guys can see a little better. And that's just Karma. He's being crazy. All right, now we're gonna stretch. We're gonna push as far as we can. Get this going. Ready? So we'll count to 15 and we'll get a nice, good stretch in there. Maybe someday we can do the splits. Yeah. All right, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Excellent, so come back slowly and let's switch. So we'll switch, put our right leg forward and give our left leg a long kick right back. All right, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Excellent. Oh my gosh, you got stuff. You've done such an amazing job. Okay, let's do that one more time because that stretch felt fantastic. Okay, remember left leg forward, right leg back, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. What do we say? One more for good luck. 16. Excellent. So relax. Swap it over. And feel the stretch. Your tushy got a cramp. Uh oh. Maybe you should sit this one out. All right. Now ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and. 16 for good luck. Excellent, so slowly come out of that position. All right, so take a drink of water, get yourself all crisscross applesauce, and if you have a snuggly blanket, maybe pull that up right now. Get ready for this awesome, awesome, awesome story, okay? I wanted to tell you, I'm super proud of you for your work today. You've done amazing. Old McDonald's Bedtime. You may have heard of a farmer called Old McDonald. He was a very busy man, working from dawn to dusk, looking after all the animals on his farm. Old MacDonald had no trouble getting up in the morning as the sun chased the last stars from the sky. Rufus the rooster would flap up onto the farmhouse fence, open his beak wide and call, Cock-a-doodle-doo! Going to bed was another matter. Old MacDonald found, found that very difficult. There was so much work to do, he never wanted to stop when it was time to sleep. The animals on the farm began to worry. That night, Old MacDonald was working late as usual. He was mending his old tractor in the barn. One by one, as quietly as they could, the animals flapped and trotted across the open barn door. Old MacDonald yawned and rubbed his eyes. The animals nodded. It was time for action. Ready, everyone? Oops, let's try that again. Ready, everyone, whispered Duck. One, two, three, four. Very, very softly and very, very slowly, the animals sang, Old MacDonald, time for bed, E-I-E-I-O, time to rest your sleepy head, 
E-I-E-I-O with the nay nay here and a snuffle snuffle there. Here a quack, there a ba, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald, time for bed. E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald smiled. It was time for bed. He said good night to all the animals and went into the farmhouse for the first time in ages. He was fast asleep before midnight. Wow. Are there any stories that you like to read before bed? Anything that helps you go to sleep a little easier? The Princess and the Pea? That is a fantastic one. I love that. Yeah, I haven't read that since I was a little kid, but we'll have to find that book and share it with each other one of these episodes. Is there anything that you're grateful for? Books. Love it. Books are amazing. They teach you new things all the time. And there's millions and millions, maybe bajillions of books out there for you to read and learn things from. If we're gonna have a new book uh, next episode, so let's see what we can have. I think it's gonna be wonderful too. So what do you think that we should do for our next episode? We did show our flowers, mm-hmm. How about your favorite car? Do you have a favorite race car, a favorite monster truck, something that you really, really love? Okay, excellent. So bring that. I can't wait to see what you have. I will show you what I like and why. So I'm super, super grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Remember, stay smiling. Stay kind, and I love, love, love you mucho. Mwah.